Hi everyone and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where our trip continues here to the UAE. We've now made our way down here to Yaz Island in Abu Dhabi for a visit to Ferrari World. So this park opened back in 2010 and is home to the world's fastest roller coaster, Formula Ross, so I can't wait to get on it. It reached the top speed of 149.1, don't forget the point one, miles an hour, manufactured by Intamin, also opened in 2010 along with the park. And we just want to say thank you to Ferrari World for providing us with our mission today and also as well allowing us to take you all on Formula Rossa, the fastest coaster, which is going to be great. You're going to see Charlotte's first reactions to it, me on it for the first time in six years and also a POV as well, which we cannot wait for. So the park is located here on Yaz Island that's also home to two other theme parks and a water park as well. And look at this, the building is iconic. I remember seeing this being constructed. I think in one day I'd love to visit. And yeah, I came here in 2018, really enjoyed it. And it's great to be back here, this time with Charlotte, to come and experience the fastest coaster in the world. And yeah, really excited to get plenty of rides in on there. It is a weekday, doesn't seem too busy, uh, but there's enough people around to give it an atmosphere, which is fantastic. And yeah, as soon as you come in, you're greeted by this huge atrium. And right in the middle, you can see one of the all the coasters they've got here, and that is Turbo Track. And yeah, that spike goes right out the middle of the building. That's really cool to see that. I didn't realize they had that. Yeah, and the scale of this place as well is fantastic. It really is. It's a massive park. All the Ferraris out just here. That's a cool car. It is a cool car. Imagine rocking up at that. One seat. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, all the parks here are all very close to each other on Yaz Island. It's a leisure destination in itself. You've also got the circuit, which is just nearby, not too far from the airport. Um, so yeah, there's lots of attractions around here to see. And yeah, we're going to be covering, of course, all these theme parks over the next few days. And yeah, this is the only one out of the theme parks down here I've done. I did Yaz Waterworld uh, when I came in 2018. That's closed for its annual maintenance at the moment, so we won't be doing that, unfortunately. Uh, however, uh, we're going to be, of course, visiting the Warner Brothers theme park. Uh, that's new for me. It opened back in 2018, but I've not done it because yeah, that opened just after my visit. And then along with that, we're also gonna be experiencing the brand new SeaWorld Park that only opened last year. Hey, there goes Turbo Track right in the middle. I love how you can just hear the screams echoing. Oh, look at this just here. Pretty cool how the cars are spinning round. Yeah, you got two of them back to back there. And yeah, this place is much bigger than you expect, isn't it, when you come here? Oh, it's huge in here. I wasn't expecting to be on such a grand scale, but it's lovely in here. Especially when you compare it to Ferrari Land, the other Ferrari park, and, uh, at Port Aventura in Spain, you know. I wasn't expecting it to be so big. I was expecting it to all be quite compact, but it's not, it's quite spread out. Yeah, a lot of rides all spread throughout the park. But yeah, we're gonna make our way then down to the main highlight, the ride that I've been so excited to get back on, and also to see Charlotte's reaction, and the fact they're allowing us to film as well. Normally, it wouldn't be allowed, um, but they've actually rigged up the GoPros down on there for us uh, to take you along, which is going to be awesome. It's just down this way. It's Formula Rossa. It always just feels surreal when you see something so iconic in the theme park industry and you're about to experience it. Here it is, Formula Rossa, the world's fastest coaster. And since I was last here, the sign's been changed actually. Yeah, it's been updated. Then the logo is slightly more modern now than it used to be. But this is it. An absolute icon of the theme park industry that opened back in 2010 and reaching that speed of 149.1, don't forget the point one, miles an hour. And look at this, it really builds you up, showing you this video here too. But yeah, park hours today are 10 a.m. through until 8 p.m. So we've got plenty of time for riding and also too, uh, the park have been kind enough uh, to rise with the fast track wristbands, which we really do appreciate, don't we? We appreciate it so much. We just keep going around and ride as much as we can. And this is it, Formula Rossa just over here. I'm just so excited. It's going to be weird seeing how this launch actually feels. Oh, that's the thing. Like, you won't have felt anything quite like it before. And for me, I've done a lot of coasters, a lot of park visits since last time I was at this park. So the fact we're going to, you know, be experiencing it again after six years, I'm so pumped for this. I love all the videos and building you up. Look at this, just seeing the sign. Amazing. And yeah, how long is it going to keep this record for? I mean, it's had it for 13 years. Falcon's flight in Saudi Arabia is now under construction. And that's going to be the tallest, fastest, and longest roller coaster whenever that opens. So Rossa could lose its record soon. Let's go and have a look out here before we take you on. Brilliant that they've allowed us to get the GoPro mounted up on there. 
love this view that you come out. There's a little balcony where you can see the coaster itself and really build up the anticipation That's before riding. Station. Oh, so you can kind of see your family and friends yeah. and then know when they're going to come out and down the longest track. Let's have a look out here. Love this viewing area. Let's wait for a train to come.
expected that launch is but i'm lucky i have literally one plaque survived this one hasn't and that's why you have to wear the goggles on there like i think your eyeballs will pop out the socket that's took my breath away how long is the launch track as well that's so good and literally, that launch track just feels like it's going on and on forever. You get like five or six seconds of that feeling. Oh, like incredible. Like six years is the last battle now. I've forgotten just how good it was. Oh, Woo -hoo -hoo! oh amazing. What a ride. Oh, I tell you what, the power of that coaster. You've just seen a front facing POV and of course Ryder Cam almost on Formula Rossa. How did you find that show there? What an incredible ride. Words can't describe how good that is. That launch was so powerful, it's completely took my breath away. What gets me is Charlotte's hair on there as well. It's going everywhere. <laughs> no, it's just going everywhere, it's getting all knotty and everything. You just go on that launch and you think, oh yeah, this is gonna be fast, it's gonna be incredible. And it just exceeds that it even does. more. Like the power of it. And the thing is the launch track, it just keeps on going and going. Uh, it takes like five seconds to get up to that top speed. You get that initial acceleration, which is fast, kind of feels a little bit like stealth at Thorpe Park, but then it really goes to town with the acceleration. And with it being a hydraulic launch as well and not LSM, you really just get that kick, you get that force on there, don't you? When you're about halfway down the launch, you really feel the speed. It's like, wow. <laughs> Incredible. And of course, the trains are really comfortable as well. Um, just with seat belts and also the lap bar. And yeah, the fact that you know, you're wearing the goggles <laughs> on there too, actually means you can see more of the ride, doesn't it? I like wearing the goggles, because like Sean said, when you're going so fast, sometimes you like squinting, but <laughs> yeah. when you've got the goggles on, you're completely fine. You can keep your eyes open as normal. It's not just protecting you from the sand out here, but also um, the wind as well. So it means you can keep your eyes open and fully enjoy the experience. Then of course, you come to the end of the launch track, uh, and then you go up into that hill, where the train is actually slowed down by a brake at that section and you do feel it start to slow but you still got a lot of speed and it's going around the rest of the layout and then basically it's loads of banking lots of turns and drops and uh, yeah overall just the speed that you still feel at that point i think the coaster itself is just fantastic i love that so so much the question is did it lead up to the height did it really you know it over it. exceeded expectations, it was brilliant. Oh, I'm so pleased. I've been talking about it a lot. I know a lot of people always mention it. It really is one of the most famous coasters anywhere on the planet. And to come and ride it again, whilst it's still got the record, um, is great. I love that thing to bits. It's an incredible ride, that much so. We're gonna go back round, have another go, uh, before we continue on here at Ferrari World. But uh, honestly, amazing. Thanks so much to the park so for uh, allowing us to get that footage on there. Um, the mounted the GoPro probably took them like 15, 20 minutes. They're very strict with on-ride POVs here. But well, the fact they offered to do that for us, we really do appreciate. And of course, you know, everybody could come along with it. You could all see that amazing experience of us on there. And that's a memory for us to keep forever, isn't it? My first ride captured forever. And that's the thing, that genuine kind of first reaction to it. And for me, six years is a long time. There's a lot of other experiences. Going back on the world's fastest coaster, almost 150 miles an hour. What a ride, what an experience. Oh, what a coaster. So we made our way right here to the middle of Ferrari World after experiencing Formula Rossa there. And it's time for another launch coaster now, this one using LSMs. And it actually comes up through the middle of the structure. This is called Turbo Track. And yeah, from what I remember, this was a really good fun ride and quite snappy as well. It's quite unique where you can sit forwards or backwards. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, let's go and check it out. The entrance is just down this way. off ride footage there of turbo track in action and yeah we're about to take you on ride once again because they've been kind enough to allow us to film on this one too so yeah, we're going to do something similar to rossa and show you a front facing pov so you can see the ride and a safe front facing you can either sit facing forwards or backwards on here I'm looking forward to going backwards on this one hey and you're gonna get some great views going up the kind of spike in the middle really looking forward to it. and then we'll also put in a rider cam showing you us experiencing the ride let's go it's time for turbo track hold on
road track, and yeah, this has actually got dual loading as well for capacity. So you got this side that we're on, and also another one off to the side as Head well. Head back, hold on. Move over into the hold middle. Hold, hold, starting full shot. Sir Seda, or at the heart, I'm going to get ready for the launch. 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 From Turbo Track, that's another creation by Swiss manufacturer Intermiv, this time using the LSMs. And how did you find that? I was really quite surprised from that because off ride it doesn't look like much, but when you was on it, it was brilliant. Going backwards over the launches was great. That's the thing, it's like two ride experiences in one where you either be facing forwards first or backwards, and then vice versa. So you get a different experience going up into that spike. We showed you it facing forwards, however, it's just as good um, the other way because you're looking down instead of looking up. But you know what? Two rides in one brilliant coaster that is and like I say it doesn't really look that much from off-ride but it's great fun it is quite short but the great thing is with that too it hasn't just got one loading area dual loading for capacity which is fantastic but uh, yeah that feeling of going up out the top of the building oh, that was really good backwards is definitely my favorite great ride and very comfortable and smooth too and something else I love about turbo track is just how it creates such a great energy in the middle of the park and yeah you really feel the heat when you go out the top there the roof of this massive building and the AC when you come back inside. Now these are of course 365 parks, meaning they're open all throughout the year and that does mean that maintenance does have to be done on these rides of course to keep them safe and operational and yeah unfortunately Mission Ferrari and also Flying Aces are both closed. Now of course Mission Ferrari has got a big history. This coaster was standing when I was last here six years ago and it finally opened last year and when we planned the trip it was going to be open. Then it's been closed on the website for about a month or so and then last Last week it did actually start operating didn't it again? It did but it was only for a few days and then it closed again. It's built by Dynamic Attractions, it's the world's only SFX coaster and in fact there is another one of these that we saw a year ago in Malaysia that we didn't get to ride either uh, from Dynamic Attractions. That one looks a bit bigger and so that was at Genting Sky World and yeah we're really looking forward to getting on this however maintenance has to be done and it does seem like it's very complex. It's an SFX coaster, the ride vehicles spin, there's dark ride scenes, there's other elements inside and then of course you got the inversion just out here um, however there is a chance we spoke with the operations team here that it could open in a few days if so we will be back won't we'll we keep our eyes out and hope for the best <laughs> and so yeah in terms of flying aces brilliant coaster in fact it's an amazing ride it's a top 10 coaster for me so i'm a bit good it's closed and uh, yeah that only went down a couple of days ago but they were quite late putting it on the website they were so we're gutted but the team here at Ferrari World have given us a roof walk experience which i'm really looking forward to so we're going to be going on on the top of this roof, we're going to get some fantastic views from up there. And normally you can't take any photos and videos yourself. No, you can't. And they've allowed us to give them the GoPro and film us do it. Yeah, so the team are going to take us around and they're going to film us, get some photos. It's going to be really good. I'm really excited. Of course, I was looking forward to Mission Ferrari, but all is not lost. We're actually out here in the UAE for another week. Uh, so if it does reopen, possibly at the weekend, we will be back down here and we'll film a separate video and review from it. And yeah, we're flying aces. It's a brilliant ride. It really is. And uh, yeah, the queue line for it is gorgeous too that's going to be shut till February. I think really a better feedback for the park they could do with advertising the closures a bit more in advance. I mean we came out here not expecting Mission Ferrari anyway because that was on there and then we were surprised when it started operating last week but Flying Aces that was only added for like a three-week closure um, literally a couple of days ago wasn't yeah, it? I looked on and it just showed Mission Ferrari then I looked again and a few days later and then Flying Aces was on there. That would have probably come down and done yeah. this part last week you know come down from Dubai and done this earlier but still it is what it is is we've got the main event uh, and that is Formula Rossa and the fact that we're allowed to film on it um, is great too. How nice is this car ride on another note? It's so nice. It's beautiful and yeah it'll all be lit up down here at night as well and yeah we'll take you on that but first we're gonna head over and do this roof walk which is gonna be great. 
Here's the entrance sign then to Flying Aces. And yeah, we're gonna get some amazing views of this coaster from up on the roof walk. But you can see it just down here. It's an interbin wing coaster. It's actually got the fastest cable lift hill anywhere in the world. Yeah, it's very fast. Some brilliant elements on here. Joy to see the close sign out the front, but you know what? I'm glad we got Rossa, especially for Charlotte. If we'd have come here and not got Rossa, that'd have been gutted for you. If we didn't get Rossa, so I'm so pleased that we got on it. Especially after missing King of Car last year. Yeah, I know. I and Top it. Thrill, really. I, know, I miss both of us. <laughs> Curse of the Intermins, but uh, yeah, we did get that, which is fantastic. Here we go then. So, yeah, this is an upcharge experience. You can either um, pay to do it once you're already in the park, or you can just pay um, and do it on its own experience. Uh, I presume they bring you in through a separate entrance. So the price for this experience, if you've already got a park ticket, is 125 dirhams. That works out about 30, 35 pounds. And then if you want to do this experience, but you don't want to experience the park, it's 195 dirhams. So that's about 40 pounds. Right, should we go and do it? I'm so excited, I can't wait. And yeah, the good thing is they're going to have the GoPro and they're going to do some filming for us, taking us around this awesome experience. It's the roof walk here at Ferrari World. Let's go and give this a go. just down here as well. Uh, what was that for Charlotte? There was like a go-kart in Yeah, go-kart in and drifted, and all sorts going so on. up there seeing all the roller coasters and the whole of the area fantastic and learning so many facts about the whole area as well which has been wonderful hasn't it really enjoyed it oh thank you so much thank to the team you. here amazing really appreciate thank it thank you very much hey. <laughs> well that was an incredible experience a rooftop walk over ferrari world here in abu dhabi how did you find that charlotte that was so much fun the views at the top was incredible but our tour guys on there was so good so informative was having such a laugh it was brilliant it was about a one hour experience definitely one of the best things i've ever done at a theme park and also definitely one of the highlights of the trip right there too and yeah the good thing is they take a lot of professional photos of you normally you wouldn't be allowed your camera and mobile phone up there which is understandable in case you dropped it and lost it off the side of the building but they do a fantastic job taking photos and then you can purchase those at the end here's a few of our photos from the experience a 
and uh, yeah, they were really good getting the kind of shots all lined up. We got some amazing views of Abu Dhabi, the racetrack, and also I'm um, looking at the coasters here, especially turbo track in the middle, and along with that flying 80s from at the top was great too, wasn't it? You could see from the miles at the top, the views up there was just brilliant. Just seeing everything around the area. Yeah, really enjoyed that. What a great experience. If you are coming here, I definitely recommend it. And uh, yeah, you get some brilliant views of the park, surrounding area, and the rides here at Royal World. Well, after all that high adrenaline this morning, I think it's time for a bit more of a relax now. So I'm going to go on this nice little car ride just here. And yeah, you can see some similarities between here and Ferrari Land in Spain. However, just things are done a lot better here, like the theming and details. Look at this just here. This is so cute. This is going to look really good at night. I bet there'll be loads of lights. But the theming around here is so good. It's literally like a little miniature world. You got all the cars. And yeah, this is really nice. Yeah, let's go and experience this. And we will take you on. It's quite a big ride actually, it goes all around here and underneath Mission Ferrari. Oh. And this attraction is called Bellitalia just here. <laughs> Let's go and experience it. It is a nice archway. And off we go on a nice tour around Italy. There's Charlotte in the mirror. It's weird because it hasn't got a pedal this one. No, just going. <laughs> it just kind of goes all the way around. But you are steering it. I am. Can you steer it into the side or no? I'm not too sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, he does steer left and right. I didn't know if that was just for show. Can I zoom in on Charlotte there in the mirror? Concentrate. Portofino. This is lovely. It's so cute. It's very well themed. It's been done to a high standard. Oh no, it's better anything less though from Ferrari World. Bologna? Pisa? Yeah, this will look good at night. Fascinating ride, Mission Ferrari. I hope we get it another day, I really do. But still, we've got two brand new parts to be checking out the next couple of days, which is gonna be awesome. Last thing with this trip, I didn't want to do all the big stuff straight away. I wanted to do some of the smaller parks along the way and save up these parks at Yaz Island. So I knew we were gonna have a great time. I still can't get over Ross, and my heart's still beating from that thing. It is crazy. Look at all this, looks a bit like Hotel Coliseo. Well, that's all Italian inspired at Europa Park. <laughs> yeah, the cars are lovely on this. So much better than the one in Ferrari land, this is. Like, you're just looking at tarmac, basically, on that one. Pisa. Lini Tara Pisa. Turbo track again. I keep wanting to say test track. Turbo track. That was awesome, just walking up down the roof and seeing that. Really good. We did have to wait a little bit to get the, uh, the footage of it coming up, but it was worth it. Over the little bridge just down here now, towards Venice. <laughs> All the nice water. There's quite a few people about this park, enough just to give it a good atmosphere, which is what we like. That's the thing with the parks in Dubai, they do lack an atmosphere because they're very quiet. Here is different to that, we're down in Abu Dhabi. Yeah, it's about 90 minutes from like downtown Dubai down here to Yaz Island. And from the hotel we stayed at, Rover at the Park, where we were for the first nine days of the trip, about a 45 minute drive to Yaz Island. And yeah, we learned loads of facts about the island itself. One was up there on the roof walk, I certainly really enjoyed that. Into the tunnel, it's a good long ride this as well. Like all the red lights, like I'm in a cooker. You getting on well there, Charlotte? Yep, I'm doing my best. Driving us round. Driving up. Oh, what happened? That wasn't me. I haven't even got a pedal to stop it. <laughs> no brakes, no accelerator. Just goes with the flow. Up to Amalfi, through the mountains just here now. All the little trees. Yeah, it's like a model village with a ride running through the middle of it. Very good that was, I enjoyed that. Nice and chilled out after some of the high adrenaline experiences that we've done. What a busy morning. Beautiful ride that is. It's nice and long as well, isn't it? 
so cute. The theming on there was really nice. I'm looking forward to giving that a try later at night. Yeah, all the pretty lights as we make our way through Italy. And yeah, all the Italian buildings continue around here. Beautiful, all the facades around. Yeah, I think that's the show building behind there for Mission Ferrari. And you got all the nice little buildings, the restaurant just over there. And yeah, talking of food, we're gonna get some just around the corner here. Beautiful buildings around here. And this makes me very excited for Warner Brothers because yeah, they own all these parks down here. Uh, they did a great job of this, but I know for a fact in Warner Brothers, all the ceilings themed in too. So excited to see it. It's coming up across the next few days. Yeah, a lot of restaurants here, loads of places to eat, lots of little shops. Actually feels like you're walking down a genuine Italian street. Except it's been built here in what was the desert. Fascinating, really. Lots of nice little seating areas with these cute shops. Oh, it's lovely. All these buildings. And yeah, the restaurant we're going to is just over here. It's called Mama Rosella. So yeah, we're going to go and have some lunch. So we're looking forward to this. It's like a nice Italian restaurant. So we're going to see what's on the menu and get some food. We've had a very busy morning. We've got loads of things done. That roof walk was amazing. And then, of course, Formula Rosso. What a way to get our day off to a flying start. Just not flying aces. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Let's go and get a nice table over here. And here we go then. Ready for some lunch, aren't we now? Yeah, that's right. I've got more than the bag in this. looks really nice. Look at that. Oh, lovely. Now I've done four. Nice classic margarita pizza just over here too. And yeah, what a nice little restaurant there is just here. We've got the Italian music on. All the nice lighting and great theming around in this section too. So yeah, we'll tuck in and then we'll keep on riding here at Ferrari World. Oh, the pizza was delicious. Very much enjoyed that. How was yours? That was fabulous. It was so nice. You could tell like it was like a homemade And now we've got tiramisu just I've never there. had tiramisu before. Yeah, have a nice dessert. Why not? Oh, I tell you what, that food was really nice. I enjoyed that. That lasagna was so nice. I really enjoyed it. Just what we needed, that was, after a busy morning. Anyway, we're going for a nice sit down now. We're going on Made in Marinello, one of the rides that they've got just around the corner in this nicely themed area. Let's go. So this is a dark ride all about the history of Ferrari. For many people, owning a Ferrari is a dream. And it's at Marinello where these dreams are made real. At Ferrari, we have a proud racing tradition and a constant desire to innovate. But it's the extraordinary people who work here and their endless pursuit of perfection that make our cars like no other car in the world. Knowledge of the Formula One racing team and using the most sophisticated technology, the design department is where the dream starts. From initial sketches, the design is gradually perfected and then developed into a computerized 3D wireframe model. One of the most important aspects of the design of a Ferrari is the aerodynamics. So a scale model is made and tested in the wind tunnel in Maranello. design, the car goes into production. At the Marinello foundry, the metal alloys are heated to 800 degrees Celsius and poured into individual molds, together mainly by hand at the Ferrari factory where natural light, trees and plants help to create the perfect working environment. After the engine has been built in this environment, it's where the famous Ferrari roar is heard for the first time. Nearby, the car's body shell is being built. Ferrari has one of the most advanced body plants in the world, 
where the finest manual skills combine with sophisticated technology to produce the lines and shapes that make a Ferrari instantly recognizable. Painted body shell is sent to the paint department, where it's plunged into a series of 11 dip tanks and rotated 360 degrees to provide a series of tough protective layers. Then it's the turn of Ferrari's graceful robots, who paint the car in the customer's chosen color. The customer can choose from a range of proposed colors, or ask for any color he desires. And it's in the final assembly where everything comes together. chassis and engine, the electrics, dashboard and windscreen. In this department, each car travels through about 50 specialized workstations in about six days, which combine cutting-edge technology with human skill and craftsmanship. The car is ready to be tested. A great many extraordinary people are involved in the making of a Ferrari. From research and development right through the production process to putting the car through its paces on the test track. All of them. Some more ride footage there from the Ferrari Dark Ride. And yeah, that showcases how a Ferrari is made. It's kind of like stepping into a TV advert or promotional campaign for Ferrari, really, that one. Quite interesting, though, how it tells you how it's all made. But well, I think it could have been done better in places, that was. Yeah, I feel like at the end, I was expecting it to be like a grand big Ferrari at the end, but there just wasn't. Yeah, it's okay, though. You know, it's quite interesting learning about Ferrari, especially if you're really into the cars. Uh, then, yeah, it tells you about all the different stages. And someone like myself, not really into cars, that much uh, it's all about encosis for me um, yeah I found it quite interesting just knowing all the different stages and design that uh, goes into it but yeah in terms of a re-rideable dark ride it's kind of a once and done quite a few blank areas in there where they could have done with more for example instead of having the robo arms um, on like a screen it would have been great to have actually seen um, them right in front of you anyway it's time for another coaster now you like these don't you yeah, I like <laughs> yeah, this is one of the family coasters that they've got here. But from what I remember, it was more family thrill, actually. And this is Ferrando Challenge, the racing coasters. Yeah, we're not going to be able to film on this one, unfortunately. But we will see you when we come off. So it's quite hard to get angles of this coaster. But even the queue line. You can just see it out there in the distance. Yeah, it features multiple launches and includes the two tracks that interact with each other. Yeah, a big building in the background there is Warner Brothers. And we're very excited for that. Yeah, we saw a good view of that from the roof walk earlier on. Of course, that's going to be coming up in the next couple of days. Yeah, let's go and give this a ride. Quite a long family thrill coaster. Yeah, I was expecting it's more to be family, but yeah, from what I remember, it is more family thrill as attraction. So we'll see you when we come off. Here they come. Really takes you by surprise that coaster. You think it's going to be a family ride and it's really not, isn't it? I wasn't it? expecting it to be like that. It was quite snappy and the launches were quite good. Yeah, it's got lots of launches on there. And yeah, in terms of the corners, Literally, there's no banking. You know, you get around all these S bends and tight bends, get some lateral forces. It's a good fun ride. It's not the smoothest, but it's not rough or anything either. Just good funks. One minute you're on the left, waiting with the car on the right, then you're over the top and underneath them. Yeah, overall, it's a good ride. Really enjoy getting on that. Really good fun, that one was. All right, let's keep on riding here at Ferrari World. Time for another ride then now, and this is Speed of Magic Driving Dream, as you can see from the screen just over there. And in all honesty, I can't remember much about this at all. I reckon it was here last time. But yeah, I can't remember anything about it. So yeah, let's go and uh, give this a go. After me. Hey Max, what's the matter? It's this game, I can't beat it. I don't know Max. So we just watched the pre-show, and now we're on the ride. <laughs>
Holy this. <laughs> Speed of Magic. Yeah, another dog ride here at Ferrari World. Can't remember doing that last time, unless it's new since when I was last here. Or maybe I've just forgotten because there's that many rides that I've done over the past six years. And yeah, it's kind of like Spider-Man and Transformers at the Universal Parks. A bit more on a budget though, not many practical sets in there. I wasn't a huge fan of that. I found the glasses just quite hard on my eyesight. Yeah, I just wish there was a few more sets in between of the projections and screens really. It's a lot more like screen into screen into screen, wasn't it? Yeah, there's a few like walls with lighting effects, but not much. Quite a long ride though and a good storyline, which is nice. Yeah, it had like a character on there. And yeah, design of course for families. What a great day we're having though here at this park. It's fantastic to be back here. It really is one of the most iconic of the modern parks. And I say modern, you know, it's been here for like 14 years really now. Yeah, I remember this place being built and always wanting to come and visit. So it's great to be here. And yeah, always fantastic to take you along for the experience as well. And that Rossa POVR, honestly, so good. So having our reaction on there. We've still got quite a few areas and rides to see. What a day we're having. Love the golden horse just there too. We make our way back here into the middle and lots of Ferraris on display that you can pose and have your photos with. I mean, I'm not really a car person, but I've got to say, that is a pretty sexy looking car, isn't it? Look at that. It's iconic, a Ferrari. Oh, it is. And yeah, you get all the different colors. I mean, red's obviously the most kind of common, but yeah, they come in the different colors as we found out on the ride. So that's cool though, spinning round. Yeah, this is brilliant here in the middle with turbo track going just up there. There he goes again. <laughs> brilliant that is. Are you enjoying it so far here, Charlotte? Oh, I'm really enjoying it. They've got a nice variety of rides, which is really nice as well. And you were saying to me off camera, it's much bigger than you were expecting it. I wasn't expecting it to be this big. I was expecting it to be quite compact, but it's quite spread out. Yeah, when you think, oh, indoor park, you know, you hear about Formula Rossa, you don't hear about a lot of the other things, you I know. I didn't realise they had a lot more other things, which is great. Yeah, it's definitely a full day park down here. And yeah, we've got another family area to check out and another dark ride, I believe, as well, from what I can remember. It's just around this way. Yeah, we'll go on that now, shall we? Yeah, it's just down here on the left by Rossa and gearing up for another ride on that beauty again. Oh, she warms up throughout the day, I tell you that. Lots of photo opportunities around. Back down here into the racing zone. Yeah, you got lots of shops, retail all the way around. Test driver's dream. Just over there, another little experience. Yeah, the dark ride's just down here on the left. Look at this big play area that there is in the middle. This is pretty cool. All the equipment just there. Yeah, you got some climbing areas as well. Designed for the families just there in the middle. And that's the thing, you know, you've got the big thrills, but you've also got some nice family attractions, including this that we're about to go on. This theming gives me proper Toy Story Land vibes from the Disney park, especially with the big blocks just there. And here it is, it's Benno's Great Race. Let's go on. Team Q line. <laughs> and there's that look, a model of the ride system. Let's go on. And there's an interactive shooter. Let's go on.
this right, it's got a lot of thieving at the sides as well, you know. Wow, Oh, don't you love the sound of scissors? How satisfying is that? <laughs> On the screen, very good. That instead of just seeing like a dot or like a laser. we've done I definitely enjoyed that one the most there was so much going on there wasn't there oh that was so cute and what was good with that is the screen she was doing different stuff on each one one time you were snipping scissors next she was putting bees <laughs> into jars that was really good fun holding the wrench was fantastic wasn't it like it's a little bit different than like a normal gun or a tool that you'd have on one of those normally and so uh, yeah lots to look at on there quite a lot of movement lots of great scenes yeah really nicely themed family dark ride that is yeah it was a pleasure getting back on that so we're now here in the Ferrari gallery and if you love F1 cars, this is the place for you. Look at them all around here. Lots of information, great photo opportunities. You get really up close to all these fantastic F1 cars. And yeah, you look around the side there, you can see like all the different racing legends and victories between 1999 and 2003. Oh, they're tiny really, aren't they, when you look yeah, at them here? Yeah, they are. Yeah, they one person. Amazing. Brilliant to see. Yeah, loads of information in here. Yeah, it's really well set out. Now, I can't remember what exactly this is, but we're going to go and do it. It's called Driving with the Champions. Yeah, let's go and see what this is. Don't have a clue. Can't remember at all. <laughs> no, he couldn't film on there, unfortunately. Well, that's one of the funniest rides I've ever had, that is. That was so funny. We was on like a simulator, but the movement on there was so funny. We was getting flipped backwards. 
backwards and forwards and side to side. That was so much fun. But the video quality, you couldn't really hear what was going on at all. It was so quiet, but that was so funny. Yeah, the video wasn't great, but that rise is literally a chair and it was going side to side like this. We were in hysterics on that. Laughing, it was so funny. Oh, tears of laughter on that. Oh, it was hilarious. Once the seat was so hot as well when we went in. We thought, God, this is hot. No wonder why we're moving that fast. And Daniel had just come out to see another one of the family areas that we've just got here. Lovely selection of rides, beautifully presented here because you've got the interaction between the roller coaster, formerly Rossa Junior. You've got a drop tower over there. You can sit in a tire over in that section. And yeah, some other flat rides that we've got down here. There's a lot of rides at this park. And yeah, I think we'll give uh, Formula Rossi Jr. a go now. It's got quite a big queue, actually. Just over there. Yeah, certainly more people about now down here. Got a great vibe, this park. Yeah, we won't be able to film one here either, but we will play in some off-ride shots of the attractions just down in this area. Sitting a big tire over there, how about that? So that and yeah, the interaction with all this family area is great. Here's a look over at the drop tower. Just a family drop tower, and that'd be another great investment for them here. Actually, another actual thrill drop tower or a shot tower would be fantastic. Going out of the roof, going to see it all, and you got the big tires just over here. This is quite unique, isn't it? The tire twist flat ride, which is basically a teacups where you're sitting in the tire of a Ferrari. Speedway race over there, another little junior ride. And over here, another flat ride too. These are quite good fun. You pull the bar, then you come up higher on the attraction. This is called Flying Wings. Yeah, this area is very well designed, having all these family rides together. Even things like covering the coaster footers with the tires, using some footers as seating just here. And in general, I just want to say about the operations here, don't we? The operations have been really good. They've been good getting stuff out really quick, which is great. Best operations of the trip that we've seen so far here. Yeah, I certainly know what they're doing down at these parks. I'm very excited for the next couple of days with SeaWorld and Warner Brothers. Just over here, you've also got the Karting Academy, which is an upcharge attraction just there. Yeah, it's basically go-karts all the way around in this part of the park. Yeah, quite a nice track. 60 dirhams for a ride on there. Yeah, not a huge fan of upcharge attractions, but still, they are go-karts. And even back home, you find that go-karts are upcharged when you go to amusement parks anyway. You've also got the Scuderia Challenge just up there. I think that's how I was saying it. I don't have a clue. Uh, but yeah, they're the simulators. That's also close for maintenance at the moment. I don't think I said that right. I don't know. <laughs> I always try that pronunciation. But yeah, that's shut for its annual maintenance at the moment too. Well, we've got one more major attraction to experience today here at Ferrari World, and that is their Flying Theatre, which is just here on the left-hand side. Yeah, this is another huge area. The thing is with this park, they've got a lot of room for expansion, because when they built it back in 2010, they thought about that with the size of the building. There are so many areas where you could just take out seating or planting and put in another ride if they wanted to. But yeah, here it is, flying over Italy, the Flying Theatre. Don't think we're going to be able to film on this, but we'll talk about the experience when we come off. Thing is, we're on camera, you don't really get the full perspective of a flying theatre anyway, so you don't really see a lot, even when we can film on them. Well, that's why we saved that one until last. I remember last time it not being great, and yeah, it's probably the weakest flying theatre out there, in our opinion. The projection quality on there just wasn't the best. Yeah, the ride system as well isn't great because it takes ages to get up there into the screen. It's not like a massive boom arm, and then it takes ages to come back down. And yeah, the video itself is okay. You do get some nice smells on there. There's not much movement in the ride system. The video itself I mean, is similar, really, to Flying Dreams. 
the uh, Flying Theatre at Ferrari Land in Spain, but that's done much better than this one. The quality wasn't great, and yeah, the ride system uh, just felt very dated. And in fact, out of the three different systems that we've got there, only one of them was in operation. So yeah, there wasn't much movement. Definitely one of the weaker Flying Theatres. And uh, anyway, we're going to get some re-rides in now. Pretty much just set on Rotter, I think. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Ready the most of that. Do some other re-rides on the other bits, and we'll wait until it goes dark, and we'll get some more footage from around Ferrari World here in Abu Dhabi. Well, over the past couple of hours, we've done loads more re-rides and also as well, some of the smaller attractions that we didn't do earlier are the little flat rides just over there in the family area. And yeah, it's dark outside now. And yeah, here's a look at the park at night. It doesn't really look too different because yeah, they haven't got loads of atmospheric lighting around. Mostly, it's these big floodlights that are shining across the park. I think that's something they could do with working on, really. It's a bit more themed lighting. However, all of these with the lights on look quite nice, don't they, around oh, on the side? so pretty up here, but like Sean said, because they've got the big floodlights on, you don't really get the full effect of that. Yeah, just had another couple of rides on Formula Rossa as well. Along with that, just done turbo track again at night. That was good. And yeah, this might just show you this awesome view from up here, right on the top level. Last thing, even if you don't go on the ride, you can come up here. It's quite a lot of steps, but it brings you to this fantastic observation area. Great footage of Turbo Track from up here. It's an excellent coaster that is. And yeah, here's a view looking out over the car ride just down there. And I think we'll go and do that now at night. So all the little buildings are lit up, even though you have got these big floodlights kind of shining over it. And here we are on the cars at night. And yeah, I do like how all the buildings have got the pretty lights on. And of course the car headlights as well. Yeah, it's not massively different from in the daytime. Still very pretty there, we like this. Charlotte's driving again. Try Taking us on a little tour. But yeah, we're going to end our visit with a couple more re rides over on the fastest roller coaster in the world, Formula Rossa. Well, this is it, the time has come. These could be our final rides on Formula Rossa as the title holder for world's fastest coaster with falcons flight under construction and possibly opening either late this year or next year this could be it but you know what Rossa will always be an incredible ride and the launch on here is phenomenal so we get a bit of off-ride footage of the coaster at night and we'll make our way down to the exit of the park what a day here at ferrari world on yaz island the fastest roller coaster in the world. What an experience. We've had seven rides on there today. I can't believe we've had seven rides, but oh, it's taken out of me. I can do it again. Are oh, you happy with that, though? I am so pleased that we managed to get on it today. I was a bit concerned that the curse of Charlotte on these big intimate coasters was going to come here to the UAE after missing, of course, Dragster and then King Dakar. Uh, but no, we got on there and it was amazing today. To have seven rides on that coaster whilst it's still the record holder, amazing. Is he going to stay the record holder when it's found? Is flight going to open? Will it open? Like, who knows? But uh, it's under construction right now in Saudi, and let's see what happens. But we have loved that today. An incredible ride. And just that atmosphere before and after the ride is really special. People are so scared when they're in the station and actually sat on the vehicle, but then when people come in, they're all clapping and whooping, and everyone's loving it. Oh, it's amazing. What a great experience. I think we'll both agree that our second favourite moment of today has definitely been the climb, hasn't it? Oh, that was so good. I love the tour guides on there. The views on there was excellent. Yes, it's an upcharge experience but it's more than worth it, it. I definitely recommend uh, doing that for the amazing views and the photos they took were lovely of us and then along with that getting on the other rides has been fantastic turbo track we've done the dark rides I don't think any of the dark
GR rides are massively re-rideable, but the family interactive shooting ride's good. And of course, the little car ride was great. Just the overall experience of the park's been fantastic today. Thank you so much you. to Ferrari World for having us, and also as well, the fact that, you know, uh, they got us that on-ride footage, uh, that rider cam was amazing. To capture Charlotte's first reactions to that. Like, like a treasure that forever. Oh, we'll always look back on it. And for me to have that as well, like on-ride footage of the world's fastest coaster, incredible. So thanks so much to the park. We both really appreciate it. Of course, the only disappointing parts have been Mission Ferrari being closed and flying aces, but we'll be back. It won't be six years before uh, we come back. And the thing is, we potentially might get Mission Ferrari. There is a chance. Yeah, so, so fingers crossed on that one. We're in the UAE for like another six days, and if it opens, we'll be straight back down here. There's a chance it might open at the weekend at the time of recording. We'll see what happens. We'll come down, we'll film a review if so. If not, the good thing with Abu Dhabi, um, it's a good kind of connecting airport. So possibly when we're traveling out somewhere else, either later in the year or next year, we could maybe do a layover and come and get it. So we'll see what happens. But uh, there we go. Coming up next, we're checking out the brand new SeaWorld Abu Dhabi. We've heard a lot about this, haven't we? This park looks stunning, so I can't wait to see it. It's another one that's all indoors, apart from Manta, that's one of the launch coasters that comes outside. Looks amazing. We'll take you along for the full experience. And that's coming up next here on Theme Park Worldwide. But from Ferrari World, that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get out there and keep on riding. See you tomorrow.